Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, my name is Alexandra and today's look is going to be on this smoky teal look and all I really used was the Jacqueline Hill palette from Morphe and if you guys have not gotten your hands on one of these, definitely go and try your best to get one of these. I really recommend the palette, they have beautiful shades and if you want to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes today. So taking a Morphe R38, I'm going to use this shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe for my transition shade. to darken the crease a bit more, I'm going to use this shade right here. So now just using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, I'm going to go ahead and use this teal matte shade. apply some with that same brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my Mario Badusco spray I'm going to use this shade right here. Using this e.l.f. grease brush, I'm just going to go ahead and use this orangey shade right here. The brow bone, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild color icon in Free Lean. So, to get a nice shimmer on my brow bone, I'm going to use this shade right here. It's such a beautiful color. And for the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and just add some matte teal color. I'm going to be using the Essay Edits Pore Vanishing Stick. In addition to that, I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Water. For foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match in W4, which is Natural Beige. using my NYX Dark Circle Concealing Corrector in the shade Medium using a flat brush. So 
I'm just jumping on this wagon, but I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in the shade 2. Now I'm just going to be using my Chanel Translucent Powder in Natural. Just using a regular pencil brush, I'm going to use the matte green shade under my waterline. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Alpha Duo in St. Lucia. Blush, I'm gonna use my Milani Luminoso. For my highlighter, I'm gonna use my Tarte Highlighter in a Stunner. So, finally, for my lips, I'm just gonna be applying some Milani lipstick in Bahama Beige, and this is the perfect nude for me. Gloss, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in Literally. And lastly, to finish up this makeup look, I'm going to be applying some Morphe Setting Spray. And if you guys have not tried this, you guys are missing out. Definitely go check them out and get yourself one of these. That is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave any comments down below on any video requests you would like me to recreate. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this types of videos and if you would like to see more tags. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time.